Building a treehouse is unique in that other construction projects don't have the same quirks and requirements that building outdoors in the trees presents. In this video, we'll go over some tips and special techniques that will not only make your treehouse safer, but will also make it more durable as well. If you haven't already seen the first video in this series, be sure to click the I and check that out. I covered in the first video how you can't statically attach your beams to two trees or the movement of the trees will rip your structure apart. To further help with this requirement, you can utilize a highly dense plastic known as UMHW. This plastic can be put between any two objects that need to move to prevent the wood from rubbing and to encourage the movement of the boards. I use this in two places. On the treehouse itself, I used it where the structure meets the smaller tree support. This way, that tree can move independently of the other tree without causing any damage. When a strong wind blows, you can see the movement of the tree and appreciate the wear and tear that the UMHW is saving the beams from. Secondly, I use this on the stairs. When building stairs in a treehouse, it's best to split the distance and have a landing. Then make a shorter set of stairs between the treehouse itself and the landing. Here again, you can't attach the stairs to the landing or when the trees move, it will destroy your stairs. So make sure the stairs are solidly supported by the treehouse and then use UMHW on the bottom of the stringers to encourage movement without wear and tear. And while we're talking about stairs, let me encourage you to strongly consider building stairs instead of a ladder. I originally was going to do a ship's ladder based off some beautiful plans from Nelson Treehouse and Supply. But when I saw how tall the treehouse was and thought of the young children that would be visiting it, I knew I had to build stairs instead. Not only is it safer for kids, but it allows access for family pets and encourages grandparents to visit the treehouse who otherwise would have stayed on the ground. It'll certainly add a lot more cost and complexity, but for me at least, the benefits outweighed those concerns. If you only have older kids, then a ladder probably makes more sense, but at least consider stairs and the benefits that come along with them. Another area of focus when it comes to safety is the railing. Most standard railing is 36 inches high. However, for this treehouse, I added another foot of railing height. We're over 13 feet off the ground, and although that doesn't sound high on paper, it certainly feels high when you're in the treehouse. I also put the railing support on the inside of the post to make it impossible to push the railing out without breaking the railing or the post. To reinforce the post, we went with a 2x12 rim joist and bolted the post so the entire width of the board. The wider your rim joist, the stronger your post will be. When you're considering which bolts to buy for treated lumber, you have a few options. The chemicals used to treat lumber will corrode standard bolt materials. You must use a fastener that's coated or can naturally resist these chemicals. The best option for longevity is stainless steel, but it's also the most expensive. I didn't want to get galvanized or coated bolts since the coatings can eventually wear off or chip and allow your bolts to be compromised or possibly fail. After looking at the big box stores for stainless steel, I decided to look elsewhere. I found a local store that specializes in fasteners. They had stainless steel bolts for half the price of the other stores and almost as cheap as the galvanized or coated options. When searching for your treehouse supplies, don't always default to the big box stores. Search for local gems like this. You'll be able to support small businesses and also save yourself some money. Another way to add longevity to your treehouse is flashing tape. As debris falls on your deck boards, it settles in between the boards and rests on the joists, trapping in moisture. Even for treated lumber, this will eventually cause your boards to rot. To prevent this, you can use flashing tape on all upward facing surfaces. This prevents debris from touching the joist and will make your treehouse last a lifetime. Following these tips for your treehouse project can help add years to the life of your structure. If you have any other tips that would benefit others, please feel free to leave those in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss the other videos in our treehouse video series. And as always, thanks for watching.